guys welcome welcome to laksha in this video we are going to discuss one of the most important amendment that is applicable for may or june 2025 examinations that is nothing but a metal scrap so this is applicable to both ca and cma inter and final level students this uh, amendment of metal scrap is going to affect us in three chapters that is number one the chapter of tds number two in the chapter of r c m and the third one in the chapter of registration so we are going to discuss each and every chapter where the amendment takes place so first what is the first one in the chapter tds so in the chapter of tds there is a section that is 51 1d where the specific amendment of metal scrap has been inserted so sir what is that amendment See, it is very simple. The supplier and the recipient. Both the supplier and the recipient are registered persons. Okay, now. And what is the transaction? The transaction is metal scrap. The transaction is what? Metal scrap. If in this case, the value of supply under contract not invoice it is always under contract if that is more than two lakh fifty thousand excluding of taxes that are paid under gst so if the supplier and the recipient are whom they are the registered persons and the value of supply is what greater than 2.5 lakhs excluding what taxes in this case the concept of TDS will apply. That means the recipient has to deduct TDS. How much, sir? If the transaction is intra, then the TDS rate is 1% plus 1%. That is CGST and SGST. If the transaction is inter, in that case, IGST will be charged at the rate of 2%. This is what the amendment in case of TDS. However, the concept of TDS not applicable in the cases number one when the supplier is unregistered person second one if the recipient is unregistered person what does it mean both either the supplier or the recipient any one of the two is unregistered person then the TDS provisions will not be applicable because it is clearly mentioned that the supplier and the recipient both should be the registered persons so if any one of the two is unregistered person then the TDS provisions will not be applicable and what is the most important thing value of supply under contract is more than 2.5 lakhs that means if the value of supply is less than or equals to 2.5 lakhs the provisions of tds will not be applicable and the fourth one the most important one if uh, the location of supplier place of supply location of recipient if the location of supplier and place of supply are in state a and if the location of recipient is in state B, in this case also TDS will not be applicable. In which case TDS will not be applicable? Both the location of supplier and the place of supply are in state A and the location of recipient is in state B. Then also the concept of TDS will not be applicable so these are the four cases where the tds provisions will not be applicable when is when it is applicable when the supplier is a registered person and recipient is a registered person and what is the transaction that is metal scrap and what is the value if that is more than 2.5 lakhs under one contract not under invoice that excludes what taxes and what is the rate intra one plus one into two percent and what is the gst return Tell me, ma, what is the GST return? GSTR7. And what is the applicable due date? 10th of next month. So, this is the first case of metal scrap amendment that is in the chapter of TDS. I hope this is clear. Yeah. Second one in the chapter of what? RCM. 
so rcm applies only in case of the supplier is unregistered person and the recipient is a registered person in this case what the rcm will be applicable in which case rcm is applicable the supplier is unregistered person and the recipient is what registered person remember always rcm only applicable that means rcm will apply tds uh, rcm will apply tds is not applicable in the given case tds provisions are not applicable only rcm provisions are applicable to summarize the information let us say supplier recipient tds provisions and rcm provisions if the supplier is registered person recipient is also registered person tell me if both are registered then what will apply whether the tds or rcm tds when it will be applicable when the value of when the value of supply is greater than how much 2.5 lakhs in the given case rcm will apply no that means what will be applicable fcm next one if the supplier is registered person recipient is urp then TDS will not apply, RCM will not apply, that means FCM will apply. If the supplier is URP, recipient is RP, in the given case TDS will not apply, but RCM will apply. If both are URP, then there is no concept of GST, so nothing will apply. So this is what, this is the amendment in the chapter of both RCM and TDS. Next one last one third one in the chapter of registration if you remember there is one specific important point that a person who is engaged exclusively in making outward supplies that means you are a person and you are making what only outward supplies on those outward supplies the tax is liable to be paid on reverse charge basis that means as a supplier i am not liable to pay any tax the tax has to be paid by the recipient in that case you tell me whether am i need to take registration no so that is why here the exemption has been provided from the registration to me as a supplier there is no need to register under gst that means for me the concept of registration is not applicable this is the general provision however government in the notification said that this exemption will not be applicable to the person who is supplying metal scrap that means what if I am a supplier and I am supplying metal scrap, if I am supplying metal scrap and if my turnover exceeds a registration limit of 20 lakhs or 40 lakhs, then I need to take registration. There is no exemption from the registration. For me, I need to take registration. That is what the provision number three. So these are the three changes occurred because of inserting the concept of metal scrap i hope this is clear thank you for watching